You know, it is unfortunate that Times of India has started this blame game. Not only have they made blatantly false accusations against the Hindustan Times, but they have also dragged many advertisers and their brands into this, what I would call, baseless controversy. It reeks of desperation, but desperation because the latest round of IRS results for the 14th time make Hindustan Times the leader in Delhi. We today in Delhi are 40% ahead of them, with 23 lakh readers, 18 lakh solace readers who don't even read the Times of India. In Mumbai, we are fast closing the gap with the Times. And this has caused panic and the irrational behavior that we are seeing from them. A healthy competition is important for any industry to grow. And when there is competition, somebody will be number two. The right approach as a laggard in this situation is for them to focus hard on the quality of their journalism, quality of their content, and the connect with their readers. It is absolutely shocking to see how a senior member from their management team doing a cheap show and tell video trying to peddle a losing game. Integrity and ethics are the cornerstone of any media. So we believe at HD. In this particular case, are they bringing out the facts or are they coloring the facts based on what is going to help them make money? It's a um, uh, very strange campaign that they have started. Uh, Hindustan Times is a market leader in Delhi. And uh, as a leader, it is our role, it is our responsibility to drive market expansion. To do that, we had launched a variant almost about five, six years back, which actually is intended to reach out to young, new readers, some non-readers uh, of the English newspapers. This is a very simple segmentation strategy. And most industries that I know of, where you are in a leadership position, you do initiatives which actually help drive the market. What's wrong with it? Now, as far as you know, um, uh, the advertisers are concerned, if you look at our rate card, in our rate card, it is very clearly illustrated that HT 1.5 rupee product in Delhi NCR is available at a uh, a charge over and above the regular rate card. So there is there is nothing that is being hidden here from the advertiser. Clearly, this whole piece by TUI is with a malicious intent and completely baseless. Why doing all this? They very conveniently forgot that they have an equivalent strategy of student NIE additions almost about 4.8 lakh copies across the country. Now that's a large number that goes out, which does not carry any advertising from the TOI main book or the supplements. If you look at NBT, uh, which is the Hindi newspaper, and obviously the bundled copies go with them, uh, they have almost 5.7 uh, lakh uh, copies of NBT going out, actually 5.8 lakh copies which once a week actually look at this carry the times of india english mastered is this not an effort to drive readership but despite that the readership numbers are what they are and hindustan times is way ahead of the times of india in delhi it's very interesting uh, in 2013 when the iris results came out they were celebrated by TOI. ET is in the big league, 29 Jan 2014. TOI readership grows, 29 Jan 2014. Mumbai Mirror grows, 29 Jan 2014. Not one article, but across their publications, they celebrated and welcomed the IRS. At this point in time, I would also like to say that they were very much part of the technical committee that actually helped in looking at the process and how IRS, the new IRS was going to be constructed. If they had a problem, they could have raised a concern at that time, but not after the results have come out. 
In fact, when the results came out in Mumbai, the whole celebration and welcoming of IRS happened. But the moment they realized that the results in Delhi were not in line with what they thought it would be, that's when they started rubbishing the IRS. Now, this two-phase stand seems very ridiculous. Either you support it or you don't support it. Interestingly, during the time the initial IRS results came out in Mumbai, uh, Rahul Kansal at that time had affirmed that the new technology or the new, sorry, the new methodology is certainly much more robust. It has made the whole process far more temper-proof and secured it against the vagaries of poor field work. It has been executed very professionally. And subsequently, when they got the daily results, they completely changed their stance. At HT, we value integrity and consistently base our communication on an industry accepted benchmark, which is the IRS. We haven't changed our stance whether the IRS has been in our favor or hasn't been in our favor. Because simply put, IRS enables you to get a fix on the number of readers you have out there in the marketplace and that is what an advertiser is buying. Advertiser is not buying the real estate in the paper. Advertiser is buying the number of readers you are offering to the advertiser. They are interested in drilling holes in the wall. They are not interested in buying drilling machines. First of all, let me uh, correct this. Uh, they use ABC in Delhi and they use RNI in Mumbai. Now, why do they use RNI in Mumbai? In Mumbai, they have a product called Mumbai Mirror and almost 6 lakh copies of Mumbai Mirror go bundled along with TOI almost forcibly into consumer homes whether they want it or they don't want it. And these copies are likely to be disqualified by ABC. Hence, it's very convenient for them to use RNI in Mumbai and ABC in Delhi. Let's talk a little more about Mumbai Mirror. In Mumbai, if you're buying TOI, you have to buy TOI along with either of the following products uh, at home. So you have to get either a Maharashtra Times or an Economic Times or a Mumbai Mirror. If you're not a Marathi reader, if you're not a business reader, you're going to get Mumbai Mirror. Whether you want to read it, whether you don't want to read it. And actually, if you look at the circulated copies of almost 6 lakhs and the readership of Mumbai Mirror which is only 1.9 lakhs or so uh, I think the, the piece is very clear that while you are pushing these copies into consumer homes people are not reading it so frankly from our perspective it's not even a regular product it's a supplement that goes with the Times of India in our view the only way forward is for Times of India to grow up and behave like a mature brand. They need to focus on building a strong consumer and advertiser connect. It is not going to help them by always being malicious and feel threatened by Hindustan Times. There's a lot more we can share at this stage. But we think in the larger interest of the industry, this whole crap has to stop. Frankly, they can crip, they can cry, they can even bully, but that is not going to change the facts.